Or, or use mine or something, but okay. I don't know how to do that besides shutting All right, look, so here's what we need to do. First of all, I will answer your question in a second, Winston, but I want to address this. What is the first thing we're going to do on this case? Henry, you do it and then save the uploaded version so I know it's done properly. Please, I want you to get rid of number five on B, the fifth sub point. The negation means. Okay. And then put, cut it out of the roadmap and then cut the card out of the case and put it down into the extensions part. Um, okay, uh, I, it'll take some time. I know, it'll take a second. Winston, to answer your question, one man, one vote says that everybody's vote should count for one. I don't get 10 votes and you get one vote. That's not fair. Well, you only get 3.6 votes and you get one. Uh -huh. and huh? Well, you only get 3.6 votes and we get one. Okay. But I would still like to let go. But listen, listen though. Look, look at me and hear my answer. Don't just ignore me. Yeah. Equal protection of the law means if you steal a loaf of bread, and get a hundred dollar fine, then if you steal a little bread, you should get a hundred dollar fine. It's not like, well, oh, well, we like you, so you get to get off scot free, and we don't uh, like you, so we, you, oh. you get you get executed or something. Yeah. So, the point is, equal protection of the law means exactly that, that everybody is treated equally under the law. And if you are voting, you are doing a behavior that is sanctioned and part of the law. So, Shouldn't your right to vote be equal to everybody else's vote? If it's not, aren't you, isn't the law treating you as better or worse than somebody else? Yes? Um, I put it in the extension. Okay, so save it and upload it, please. This is shit actually gets done in debate class. Is I stand up here and go, okay, what now? And then somebody who's competent tells me, and then I go, okay, can you, now fix it like this? And then they go, okay. Well, it, it's not important in and of itself. Your point about it is that it's proof that the Electoral College violates equal protection under the law. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes, wonderful. Now, note, you should know this. There is no natural right to vote or to equal protection under the law. It's not a natural rights issue. It's not a human rights issue. It's a civil rights issue. Civil rights are a little bit different than... Real rights. That's wonderful to know that we don't have real rights. Real rights are natural rights, and those stem from, uh, are or are deduced from self ownership. It's they're logically necessary, whereas these things are approximations of what we want, approximations of our values. Okay, so now the next thing I want you to do. Read, read me contention level stuff. On the roadmap? Rights protection is law's top job. Two, status quo legal. Liddy, three, sub, sub point two A, electoral college, sub point two B, elect, equal protection, sub point two C, conflict, sub point. Okay, all right, so look. Take out conflict and move that card as an extension. That, that third sub point. Or whatever. Can yeah. You edit this? You, you have to edit it from... Like Let Henry do it. Let Henry do it and upload it. And as we're not messing around with figuring out who's doing what, just one person do it. Go ahead, Henry. That's called good TE there, Eric. If you have good TE, you don't explore the possibility of multiple people doing multiple confusing things. You just go like, Henry, do it, please. If we take out conflict, so we have to take out the two subpoints on the point. What are they? Small state unfairness, one person, one vote. What's in, okay, that's not going to work then. What's the first sub point? Uh, electoral college. What does it say? Um, sub point A, electoral college. The electoral college is constitutionally mandated. What's the next one, sir? Equal protection is constitutionally mandated? I mean, how long is the card? Which has a longer card? Um... What do you mean, which one is All right, that? ignore this section then. Go ahead, pass this section. Go to the next thing. Leave those sub points alone. What's the next thing? Incorporation. All right, cut incorporation, make it an extension. 
Now it should fit. Now we should be able to fit in four minutes. Incorporation, Incorporation says that shit that the federal government can't do because it would violate your rights, that those same rights apply, the same rights protecting mechanism applies to laws made by the state governments. So the federal government has a constitution that prohibits the federal government from passing a law that says uh, when you have a trial, if you won't confess to being guilty, we'll torture you until you do. And then, then we'll know you're guilty and then you'll go to jail. Yes? If we take out incorporation, we have to take out the analysis also. What's the analysis say? Judge, this card proves beyond any doubt that courts can and should rule the federal college null and void on constitutional grounds. Incorporation means that the state rights are of secondary concern when they conflict with individual rights. Oh, god damn it. We can't cut that out. Okay, what can we cut then? Um, we just, well, okay, let's read it and time it. Let's read it and time it. Somebody read it out loud and time it, yeah. And I'm going to stop this video now. I choose it, Allison who she reads fast. I don't want to share our whole case or everything with anybody, but the point is, I wanted to show a little bit in this video about how shit actually gets done in debate class. <laughs>